I've been um, involved um, writing a play about uh, my experience with cancer. You sleek and cower and timid beast Oh, what a panic's in your breast You need not start away so hasty I would be loath to run and chase you Uh, well, it all started with uh, when I found out I had cancer. You know, when, you, when you're in a hospital like that, you kind of feel like your, your body's let you down. So to have someone touch you, like the nurse did that for me, it was, uh, it was really, really beautiful. And I, if I could find that nurse again, I, I would certainly give her a giant hug. I walk past your house today as a moving truck swept you away. There's an angry sore in the pit of my tongue, size of the nail upon my thumb. It survived. Back in in 2009, I was uh, in a production of Les Miserables at the Arts Club Theatre. I was having a fantastic time. I was uh, playing the, the role of Thenardier, who's the wicked innkeeper, and, and uh, everything was just going really well. Until uh, about three months into the run, uh, and I started having these uh, really severe pains in, in my stomach. And of course, being a man, um, I ignored them as best as I could for a period of time. I went in, had this uh, colonoscopy, and found out that that saved my life. Cut that. A couple of pills in a small Dixie cup. From them on, it was just. Um, that was a huge part of my life. In one sharp break, I spent a lot of time in and out of hospitals. And the nights looking up. Having, having cancer uh, was really an, an incredible thing for me in many ways. And I, I have so many friends who have cancer. I have, so while I've been doing this, you know, I've also tried to put the humor in it because when you're in a hospital, it actually gets, it just gets very funny. There are stupid, funny things that, that go on in hospitals too. And so it just felt like a, like a, like a great atmosphere. Jim's got us on a prayer list. Jim's got us on a prayer list. Me, Neil and Preside. Jim's got us on a prayer list. Must be a pretty short list in the hall. You know, the first thing I did when I, I found out I had cancer was that I planned my own funeral service. These are the instructions you should follow should I die. I, I did this for, for a couple of reasons. I mean, one, uh, when my grandmother died, the minister stepped forward and he said, in 1986, tragedy struck when Ethel lost her dick. We lost it entirely and we were just like laughing and laughing and I remember my aunt turning around on the pew and slapping me on the knee and anyway, it's all good. So brush me off, then try again. started going back into my memories of what it, what was happening in the in the hospital at that time and I just started writing more and more and more thank you for the phone calls the flowers the dinners and the cards thank you and uh, I turned it into um, uh, 10 songs and uh, 
with uh, you know the, the songs, and then I started writing the dialogue. I've been uh, really fortunate that the Arts Club Theatre um, has uh, put uh, their weight behind it. Um, uh, we have a, a date uh, of when it's going to happen, which is going to be November 2014. I, I really think it's, in a, in a screwed up way, uh, it's, it's been one of the best things that's happened to me. Wear that colored green and get away with it. I'm the kid. Everyone knows someone who has cancer. I, I, I truly believe that. Stitch back up and grew a softer heart.